Now let's just think for a few minutes about thread safety in servlets. If you've done any Java before with perhaps Java applications, you'll be familiar perhaps with the concept of having multiple threads in applications and you can start new threads and essentially have threads running in parallel so that your processing can occur in multiple processes. In servlets, we are not allowed to create new threads. So why am I talking to you about thread safety? And the reason is this. The Java servlet container will set up each request that comes in as a separate thread. And so the processing of that request will be done in its own thread. So if you've got, let's say, four requests that come in together, they will each be set up in their own thread. The servlet container will have four threads executing at the same time. If those requests were all for the same servlet, then you're going to have all four threads potentially executing in the same servlet object. And because of the way that the operating system will handle that, we will never know at any time which thread is executing in the servlet. Therefore, it's quite possible that the first thread will start executing and then be preempted, kicked out for a, a short while before it has completed so that maybe thread number three can get in and start executing in the servlet. Then, when thread three either finishes or is kicked out so that another thread can, can get in, maybe thread one comes back in and resumes where it left off. Now, let's think about that for a few moments. We've got the one servlet object. If we put into that servlet object some variables as object variables. Let's go and have a look in Calculate Premium, for example. We might, if we were not thinking about thread safety, we might think, well, hang on a minute. Let's have this integer age, not there. Let's put it up here instead. And while well, we're being very careful about things, so we'll make it a private integer. That now violates the thread safety of this servlet. Let me tell you why. When the first thread that I was talking about earlier on starts executing process request, it's going to do that statement in due course. And having said that integer.parasint, let's say it produces the value 23. So age is now going to have the value 23. And I'll write it in up here just to illustrate. Now let's assume that this thread is now kicked out of the processor. So it, it suspends its processing. As part of the suspension, these variables inside the method will be stored, ready for resuming later. And so whatever value these variables have will be stored. But these values won't be stored separately because these are part of the object and the object is on the heap, not in the method call stack. Therefore, that doesn't get stored for resumption later. Now let's say thread three begins executing. And so it comes in and its parameter has got the value 56. So that statement is executed and age now takes the value 56. And let's say that this thread is now preempted at exactly the same place and thread one comes back in. Thread one is going to have all those values reinstated to what they were at the time it was preempted. And then execution will continue at the place that it was preempted. But because this object's variable is on the heap, that will not have been reinstated to what it was previously. So now thread 1 is no longer executing with age equal to 23. It's executing with age equal to 56. But worse still, it thinks it has got the value 23, or at least you know, it should have. If it could think, it would think that. Age str will still have the value 23 because that's been reinstated as part of the resumption of this, this method. So we've got a problem with thread safety. This servlet is no longer thread safe because when you get the, the swapping in and out of the threads as they execute, you're going to be losing integrity of your data. OK, we're dealing with an age here. Who cares? It doesn't really matter much. What if you did that with your database login credentials? So that somebody in China logs in with valid credentials and then their thread is preempted, no problem. 
but they violated thread safety and they've stored those credentials as object level variables instead of local to the, to the method. Then thread 2 comes in with incorrect credentials. Perhaps somebody's trying to hack. Then thread 3 comes in with valid credentials and gets preempted and thread 2 gets back on. Thread 3 had valid credentials. They get stored up in the object variables. Thread safety is violated. Thread 2 comes in, this is the hacker, invalid credentials, but now they're using the valid credentials from thread 3. That's a big problem. And that's assuming that all the threads come through a single instance of the server. But it's quite feasible that if the number of requests are so large that we can't handle them all in a single instance of the servlet object, it's quite possible that the servlet container will generate or create other instances of the servlet. Now that's okay, maybe, because you, can, you might be tempted to assume, well, it's okay then. Thread 1 will always execute in object 1 and thread 2 will always execute in object 2. And therefore it's okay to use these object level variables. No, because with all this preemption that's going on, thread 1 might start off in object 1 and then get preempted and then there might be four or five other threads all using object 1, but object 2 becomes available. And therefore thread 1 could actually resume into object 2 and then we'll be starting to use the variables that are in object 2. Again, if we're not careful, that kind of threading that could occur will trip us up and cause problems. Therefore, there's a very simple rule. Don't use object level variables. What you do instead is take them out from there and put them in here. So long as those variables are, are inside the method, local to the method, then every time the thread is preempted, the method variables will be, the state of those variables will be stored at preemption. And when the thread resumes inside that method, no matter which object it's in, those values will be reinstated. And so instead of being 56 for thread 1, it will always be reinstated to 23. Generally then, data must not be stored in object variables. Use variables that are local to the methods and or use attributes that are on the scope that can be accessed from that method. Again, think about the scope. You get to the request scope through that parameter. You get to the session scope through that parameter. And that parameter, when the thread is preempted, will also have its state saved and reinstated when the thread comes back in. So the way to keep your servlets safe in terms of threading is never use object variables. It's okay to declare class level constants. By their nature, they're not ever going to change and will be the same for every thread, whatever that might be.